Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gift of Sense 92. And your girl's back at it again like always. Bringing you the latest content, the latest exclusive news on your favorite artists, new music, etc. All that above. And I was so excited to get the chance to finally um, see Sierra's uh, Rick James tribute performance that she did the Motown 60 uh, a couple days ago. Um, and people have had their critics, people have had their opinions, and as a huge Sierra fan, you already know on this channel, I promote Sierra, I support Sierra, I'm a huge Sierra fan, and I'm going to be very honest, and I will be very blunt, and like I said, you have the right to agree to or to disagree, and you don't have to be a Sierra fan, but this is coming from my observations as a Sierra fan. Alright, so, like I said, um, Sierra is underrated of course but let's focus on her tribute performance so she did a tribute to rick james the legendary rick james and rick james was like one of like the r&b funk neo soul um artists of his time his generation and his his hits so we have like her performing um super freak and give it to me baby now i have watched the performance earlier so when she opened up the um, performance, her stage presence was on point. Her dancers were on point. Everything was cool. I think Sierra did her thing. I think she nailed it as always as a performer and as an entertainer singing and dancing. Um, I love how she opened up with Super Freak. I love how she got into like the sass, the flavor, expressing her sexu sexuality, her sensuality, and really giving it her all as always. When she always book a stage, you know Sierra going to get down on the dance floor. You know she's going to snatch the stage. You know she's going to black bag that bitch. So, you know, if you don't know what she, she said, it, she's going to black bag that bitch like always. So, when she did the uh, Super Freak, and then she did Give It To Me Baby, she nailed it. Uh, she was really into those records. She gave her own twist, her own flavor to it. And I'm going to tell you something. For these Sierra credits, I've noticed that every time Sierra does something, and it's okay. Like I said, it's not like a big deal. But I feel like people want to discredit Sierra really bad because they feel like or they think that Sierra isn't the kind of artist that they really don't expect to hear as much nowadays. And Sierra has really, really had maintained longevity in her name. And she is a household name. And she has achieved a lot of success. She got hits to her name. So everybody knows who Sierra is. It's not like nobody knows who Sierra is. But I find it really biased towards her. Because people have so much of this bias towards Sierra. Which, where it's like, Sierra has the overall package of an entertainer. Sierra is from like... Like I said, she is also influenced by the greats before her. And Sierra, it's not the first time Sierra has done a tribute performance to a legend who paved the way in music for her. Because she did a tribute in, uh, back in, I think it was 2006 or 2007 to, I think it was 2007, 6 or 2008 to um, Diana Ross. And she nailed that performance. You know, she really has really come into full circle into her own artistry. And being an entertainer, it's like nowadays it's lacking. So for we got people like Sierra who really appreciate the music. And that has been passed on to her from a different generation to her generation. So for Sierra to get the opportunity to, you know, promote herself as an artist. Because she got this new album coming out called Beauty Marks. And this album is supposed to come out in a few weeks. So... For people to check it out, it will be out on May 10th in stores, retail, everywhere, digital platforms. So for those who support Sierra, like Sierra fans, C-Squad, you know what's up. You know what we're going to do. We're going to do. And so, yeah. So it's like Sierra, it's like to me, has been the underdog. And as a Sierra fan, yes, I'm open to constructive criticism because I understand people, they don't have to like Sierra. They don't have to be a fan of Sierra. But one thing you can't say about Sierra is that she doesn't bring her a game when it comes to singing and dancing her stage live performances and when people were saying stuff like she had like the sierra fans it was like hey you know this performance slayed you know she did her thing then you had some people that didn't like her performance and they said that it was trashy it was very like out of place i'm sitting up here like but i've seen other performances that are way more trashier if, she, if that performance was trashy, go and buy the freaking songs. 
Rick James song saying super freak and give it to me baby. What in the world? What comes to mind when you hear to when you hear those songs? Like what was she gonna do? She was just gonna like what do just a two step? Or what? Like what she was gonna do? Like seriously. And like also um you know, it wasn't like she was thrusting all over the stage and stuff. How people, like I said, trying to make it out to be. And then her outfit, she paid homage to Rick James. You know, the iconic hairstyle that he wore. Her outfit was badass. I love how, like, her attire was really nice. You know, she was covered up. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's a double standard. And especially to, like, black women singers, you know, like I said, you know, rappers. It's like, it's a double standard to certain things. But it's all good because, you know what, as a Sierra fan, I'm not mad. You know, I'm not even surprised by her critics because it's the same thing over and over. It's like, whatever Sierra does related to her music, you know, her personal life, people going to always have something negative to say. But I'm going to tell you something. Sierra... She nailed it. She killed it. She did her thing. I really enjoyed the Rick James tribute performance for the Motown 60. And that's that. Uh, for people, like I said, that support Sierra, that's all we care about. You know, for the Sierra fans, C-Squad, you know, we're going to ride with her until the wheels fall off. We you know how we roll. Um, yeah, I just want to just put it out there for my observations. Um, you know, just to analyze, like I said, and just to be open to people's perspectives. And it's okay. You know, not Sierra's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But I just find it funny how sometimes people, the same people that say that she she don't have anything to offer in music. Every time she puts out albums, she puts, puts out music, she always brings the thrill. Sierra really does bring the thrill in music. Because she fits in the lane of Michael Jackson and Jan Jackson. Those two are her huge influences. Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson are like neck and neck. The singing and dancing and entertainment. And I think Sierra over the years she has been a threat because it's like people have underestimated her capability of reaching that mainstream status for herself as an artist. That's why Sierra is the underdog. She has pushed through longevity. She has had bird chirping mofos and hairs coming at her saying like she will never be able to be where she's at. She will never be able to make music. Like people are not checking for her no more. But she's still that chick. She's still putting out her music. So y'all gonna get mad all y'all want to. You don't like Sierra. Don't listen to her. You don't have to like her. Nobody's forcing you to like her. And that's that. As a Sierra fan, that's all I gotta say. So guys what do you guys think about sierra's rick james tribute performance from motown 60 share your thoughts share your opinions below i'm really really welcome for all you guys to share your two cents on this channel and you know what you guys can always do check out the subscribe button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell um like like share comment retweet subscribe down below you know how you girl do it around here and I'm about to exit out as always. So stay tuned on the next episode of Get to Sense 92 Dragon Ball Z Narrator Reference. Peace.